welcome back. Today we're going to be using a very seasonal ingredient, and it's one of my favorites, and it's called basilico, or basil. It is in the mint family. You can get it year-round, but typically, if you want to grow it yourself, it only grows in the summer months. July is here, and as you can see, it's growing quite abundantly. Basil is just a great way to get away from all the heavy grilled meats that we're having and, and the heavy sauces, the meat sauces, and the cream sauces. The first thing you want to do is you want to gather your leaves. I like to pluck them by hand. I don't pull the whole plant out. I like to just pick them one leaf at a time. This way it grows back even faster. 50 leaves is going to give us about 4 cups. That's more than enough for 4 people. And as you're picking the leaves, maybe you want to go through them, make sure there's no extra grit or grime or bugs in there or anything else. We are going to wash it, but it never hurts to take a look. You definitely want to rinse these off very well. You don't know if the rabbits were in there or if there's bugs, so definitely rinse these off very, very well, even if you do get it from the supermarket. I am going to be using a salad spinner for this because I want to get these leaves really, really dry because we are going to be putting olive oil in here and as you know oil and water do not mix very well. A food processor is definitely very important for this. I don't see how you can make it without it. I'm not a big fan of modern technology in the kitchen. I like to make my food the way it was done a hundred years ago but in this case you definitely want a food processor and they are certainly cheap enough. You could probably find these in the baking aisle of your supermarket, and they're cheap. They're like $10. I spent a little bit more. I think I spent $30 for this because I'm going to be using it for a lot of other things. The other important ingredient here are the pignoli nuts. You could find these probably in the baking aisle of your supermarket or the Italian section. Um, they are pine nuts, but the Italians call them pignoli, and they use them for baking. They're delicious in cookies. They are expensive. This little jar could cost you seven to ten dollars, and you're only going to use about half of it. But still, if you want to skip that, or if you can't find it, by all means, use walnuts. I actually prefer walnuts in this recipe. They have more oil in them. They're delicious, and of course, they're less expensive. If you wanted to toast your pignoli nuts first, that's a great idea. It will add a depth of flavor to it, but it's not necessary. Next, you want to load up your food processor, put the leaves in first, then the garlic, then the nuts, grated cheese, the salt, the pepper, and the oil. You may need more olive oil later on. It all depends on the moisture content in the leaves, how big they are, if it rained the night before. There's a few different factors. Just be prepared to eyeball it and add a little bit more olive oil. You want to start off slow. Just pulse it gently until you see the leaves starting to come together. Poke it down, add some more olive oil if necessary, and then get it to a nice smooth blend. The most important thing and the most vital part of this whole recipe when it comes to pesto is it has to be raw. You do not cook this, you do not heat it. You don't want this brown. This is like a salad dressing. So once that pasta comes out of the pot, put it into a salad bowl, toss some of this pesto in and gently mix it. You don't want it hot at all. Heat of any kind is going to deplete the essential oils of this delicious herb. You really want this fresh herbal taste. Summertime is a great time and if you ever miss the taste of summer and you want some of that in the later in the fall or in the winter, put these into individual servings into an ice cube tray and stick it in the freezer. When you take it out, do not heat it, just let it defrost. There's plenty of oil in there. Then you have the wonderful fresh taste of summer all year long. Don't waste this. Save it for leftovers, freeze it. You could even use it as a dipping sauce for bread or put it on bruschetta. So many things you could do with this. Bon appetit, enjoy. We hope to see you again soon.